Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content such as Camp Zero Base One, Seventeen's Nana Tour, Seventeen in the Sioux, Finding Stray Kids, Black Pink House, EXO's Ladder, EXO Showtime, A Pink Showtime, and tons of other content including extra variety shows, K dramas, animes, and movies. Hey guys, and here today we're watching the music videos we've missed, along with some other things. So we have <clears throat> BB's Bum Young Gang, Gang, it was just Gang. Um, I used to sh put the music video. I didn't love the song. Wait, did I like the song? I think this was the song I didn't care much for. Um, just because I didn't care for her voice. I think it was not high in the other person, personally. But we'll see. Maybe a second lesson will do it. Astro's Circle Special Clip, which I'm looking forward to. Someone's new song. I need to get the lyrics for that one, actually. And then Treasure's Japanese song, Let It Burn. So let's hop into the video. This one's actually cool. I'm sure, BB. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. She's Ember. She's Wade. <laughs> Why do I feel like a weird switch up? I would kind of love it if we stay this way though. Is there any silent movie vibes? We broke up. Does she curse him or is... Like, is she turn him into a rat? Mouse? Oh, it looks like maybe. Oh, this is so my vibe. I love this. I need more, like, is there more artists like this who, because BB kind of goes all over the place, but like, is there a Korean artist who kind of does just this vibe? She's giving Sabrina the Teenage Witch energy here. Because like, Sabrina the Teenage Witch is kind of older, so it's kind of a, a cheaper show. And this feels a bit more cartoony. Like they're not trying to make it super realistic. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't this kind of look like. Oh, guys, this is. This is. Let's see, it's being. Like. My first song this year. Listen. It's February 27th when I'm recording this, but. Alright, February 26, I guess, but, but I'm, <laughs> this is my favorite song. I wish it was longer, but I kind of don't mind this one being shorter. <laughs> what a weird song to pair with the single though. Does she have more songs like this? I don't quite get this ending though, but I don't care. I love that song. It's such a cool video too. <gasps> oh, I want to hear some new. Yeah. No, like it's 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 like a har harrowing like vibe, like the lyrics with the like na 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 like that. It's kind of eerie, which I love, especially with the video. It's such a contrast to the cute vibes, but then what she's doing is also kind of weird. Who's singing concert? What the fuck? Son who? He's such a big BB fan, I guess. Which I can kind of see both sides of this perspective, because if you're on one end, like, that's what makes it even more sad to me. Because you can't always, you can't make someone 
see things from your view. So for you, wanting to just be loved and speaking a certain way and doing something a certain way won't always be perceived the same from the person receiving it. It's, it's because we, we live in such different worlds. We're, we're all different people. So in your head, it's like, oh, but I'm just, I just want to be loved. Like, I'm just telling you I want this. I'm telling you I want that. I tell you how I feel. But the other person can perceive it as kind of feeling like clingy and needy and desperate, like this person says. And it, it can annoy a person. But it doesn't mean either person are really wrong, which makes it really sad to me. That's just how I feel, though. Um, it's because some people don't want that type of love. So, and then some people need that type of love. It's just, oh, so interesting. Love it. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, let's move on because we got too invested in that. And I'm comparing this to, I think the song's only four minutes, but like, ugh. Like, I, I kind of want that song to be longer, but I'm kind of happy. I and mean, I'm not like, it doesn't feel like it needed to be longer. I'm just wanting it to be. It's not one of those ones. She looks like, um, she looks like, uh, fuck, what's her name? Shay Mitchell, Shay Mitchell. And she looks so much like Shay Mitchell to me. She ain't happy. If this was a different movie or video, I would have been like kiss. But <laughs> this is not that type of relationship, I guess. This is very different. <laughs> what an interesting video already. Movie. I do make movies. I mean, Oliver was like directing, I guess, but. It looks like she was laying in dresses. Like, they're laying in like wedding dresses or something.
낡은 이야기 하나 있죠 모두가 다 아는 그러나 또 모르는 그 이름은 So I'm playing the meaning of the song. I already forgot it. Mm. But I mean, the music video, I mean, I'm pretty sure this ties in, so. I'm not too smart enough to like interpret these this video perfectly. <laughs> I don't know what songs you're listening to because I feel like, especially in the past like three, four years, most songs are empowering all women. Have you not checked out Super Lady and stuff? <laughs> um, and isn't this also ironically bringing down other women to? Talk about how good I you is? Is this not the same thing? Are you not repeating the cycle by discrediting other women in K-pop or even girls in K-pop for lies anyways? Because I don't know what songs you're listening to because there are definitely, especially in older generations, when that was like a thing uh, where it's like, oh, I'm better than her because I don't like, I'm just different. I'm not like other girls. But that was during the not like other girls era of the world. So, anyways, um, and that kind of hurt my feelings because I don't, don't talk about my K-pop girlies. Don't talk about them, especially when you're not even accurate. I've, I doubt that person even listens to K-pop. <laughs> or at least even reads the lyrics. That was a gorgeous video, though. All right, time to get in the feels. <laughs> Oh, this is so like OG Astro vibes. Oh, I run Aurora. This is gonna kill me. This is so beautiful already. That, is that those referencing their first albums, right? Forever. 
She might look so cute with that hair. <laughs> He's such an adult. Looks weird. Not having lucky. Do the second rap. Raise me up. Oh. It has to be a reference. So <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a playlist. Oh, I'm wondering. Um, oh, I'm wondering if Rocky. Uh, I, I feel like I really think Rocky would have done the song. So I'm wondering if maybe there was a reason. Like if it's because legally he couldn't. Like I feel like he really would. I, I feel like he would have per personally. Oof, words can't speak though. <laughs> I really think he would have because there's no shyness of them like still hanging out. Them being close to each other. Like, literally even on Instagram story and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if it was like, he can't, like, because he's no longer in the group. And like, maybe legally, you can't collab. I don't know. Has there been a person who left a group with no, like, uh scandal or anything like he didn't there there was like a little scandal like his dating thing but like no no big scandal like not like anything illegal and stuff so he left on his own free will like it wasn't like he just didn't resign so it's nothing like that so i'm wondering I, i'm just wondering i feel like i really think he would have done the song so i'm just wondering if there's another reason or does he not want to give false hope maybe um, I also had a bit of hope that maybe he would still be in Astro, just like how like the members of Girls' Generation, some of them aren't in the company, but they still like promote with Girls' Generation. Like I was hoping maybe it would be that situation in the back of my mind, just like that little bit of hope. Um, it just felt a little empty without Rocky, not gonna lie. I know Rocky's my bias, so I'm gonna feel that way no matter what, but... Having Jinjin rap twice was very interesting. I mean, sometimes he had and like Rocky would like rap after him or something like that. But like, it, it felt a little, yeah, I don't know. It was very interesting. And it, it felt very empty for obviously multiple reasons. But yeah, like Rocky, I, I, I just hoped maybe Rocky would, um, Whew, I was hoping he would just partake in the song, maybe. Just, you know, for my own selfish reasons. <laughs> just selfishly. Um, but it's alright, I get it, you know. I'm not mad about it. It's just, you know, you know, there's a little bit of hope in my heart that he would have. Um, I knew he, w he would, he'd, I know he didn't because um, I would have seen it on Twitter and stuff. I didn't see anything about him on Twitter. I just heard about the song and stuff. Alright. One's called Dandelion. I have the lyrics here because I want to give him the views. Oops, <laughs> I was watching that. Leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just a picture, so I guess I'll show you guys the lyrics. <laughs> I don't know. 
계시지 말고 어, 어. 어, so love song. I don't know which type of love, but like, yeah, it's... Is this on Spotify? I doubt it, but we can have hope. Some of them are when they do songs. It is! Oh, I'm so pleased. It has like the perfect song of ways for such a song of life. Like he has a spring voice. And the song feels like spring to me because of the flowers, the warm days. And as it says, I walk in that gentle spring breeze. That just summarizes his voice to me. That was gorgeous. I don't know what Light of Burst is going to be like, but I feel like it's going to be a huge mood switch up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There are Japanese songs that we've hit. I feel like they're Japanese songs. Or sometimes even better than the Korean ones. Oh, we gotta speak on this. Chelsea? 
it's kind of pissing me off a bit. Also, we all know the Hansa thing that's been going around. And as a strong treasure defender, as a heavy to me, temp to me, T E U M E, treasure maker, I always hold my boys accountable, like the Hiroto thing. Hold him ac- accountable, though I do think I kind of give a bit more grace than most people probably would. Because I do understand the context, how it could be misconstrued, how maybe he didn't mean it that way, which is why I give him a bit more leeway. He was also quite young. The whole homophobic thing. I think context and everything mattered there. And I don't want to put words in anyone's mouth or like take someone what someone said and kind of like assume the meaning and ill intent behind it when there was it was more like a whatever that whole thing's different i i think i can kind of bypass because he hasn't said anything of the sort before or after that give any meaning to that uh so i i, I give him more leeway even though you know i feel like Uruto, you never know you never know with people he sounds like oh, he's and I don't understand why because I feel like Hanzo has never been this way and I don't know what's going on like is he okay like is he good why is where is this astrosity coming from like where is all this anger it feels like he has a lot of anger built in him I mean I can, I can get where the anger comes from YG's kind of been wishy-washy with the group I feel like they could be bigger if they put more effort into actually promoting them better again um especially given the yadam Mashio situation and i feel like the reason yadam left was probably because of yg and everything and i feel like if i feel like they're there is a council is the leader he's probably stressed but i don't think that negates his response to certain things i'm not gonna take what he said about the cultural appropriation on the fan call thing too heavily because people say he came off rude and stuff and i do think with how he sounds like does speak his natural like if you've heard him like speak you know he has this tone to him that just feels very sharp and like you know he speaks with like a lot of like no 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 like no 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 like he kind of does that you know he that's his mannerisms that's kind of how he speaks naturally I think people are taking that to literally, especially people who have no idea how he speaks in a natural setting, along with the English language. He, they were talking to him in English. And yes, he speaks English, but he's nowhere near as fluent as like to understanding everything that was said. Um, he probably understood it, but like, you know what I mean? Like the implications, the weight of the words, those type of things. I don't think Hansel gets a pass though because he is heavily ingrained in not only hip hop culture but Western culture. He's heavily into the shows, the movies. He's very much a Western boy, just born in Korea. Like he's that's his life. The movies, the animations, like he's more of that kind of guy. And I just feel very disappointed because other people are just mad. I'm disappointed <laughs> in Hyunsuk. I feel like, and it sucks because Hyunsuk's also the oldest. So there's no one to put him in his place. And he's the leader. Jihoon, I guess, could. But Jihoon's younger. And he's a co-leader. Like, they're, like, co-leaders. And I don't know. And then why she's not going to do anything. So I feel like we're stuck. And he's definitely heavily causing the group harm and that pisses me off more than anything but i also don't want to kick him out he's very heavy in the production we already lost your job the music will just change completely if we use yonsuk if you lose him we have yoshi we have asahi we have Haruto, i guess but like they're also japanese you <laughs> know like all those people are japanese like we're just gonna be japanese music forever sure yoshi is very fluent i mean they're all fluent but it's not going to hit the same. Hyunsung needs to get it together. As a heavy fan, as someone who loves him deeply, I'm just disappointed 
And I want him to get his shit together because we're already going down a derail with Treasure and I do not want to watch this fall. I have put too much money into this group. <laughs> too much time, too much effort defending them. See, with Super Junior, I had excuses. I could be like, hey, that shit was in the past. Most of it was out of context. The stuff Yance looks doing is not out of context. Even Haruto, his was a bit out of context. His was a bit... Could be a mistranslation, could be a mixture of him probably saying the sentences right, but maybe not understanding the weight of his words. He looks like just being a little bitch right now, and I need him to get it together. Like, I'm not, I'm not playing. Like, I don't want to keep saying I love treasure and looking like I'm stupid <laughs> every time I say it. Because I feel more ashamed saying I like treasure the more days go, and I hate that feeling because it's like you're watching your kid come home from school and they're like oh he's been misbehaving he's been doing this and that and that you're like no it's probably someone teasing him probably someone making fun of him maybe he's just defending himself and then he keeps coming back and you're getting more and more bad notes on him and you're like shit maybe it is my kid maybe I he is the problem and i don't like that feeling i don't like feeling like they're the problem <laughs> and i will never unstand a group because of one person because i'm not that person i don't do that there are nine other people nine there's nine other people in this group eight and a half Hodita is still on the fence for me who i love deeply and i don't think yoshi deserves any of that backlash because he's not a repeat offender so leave him alone um and we can say it is the stylist because it is at the end of the day the stylists are doing it he looks like does this without the stylist though and that's where the issue is and that's where i i feel differently yoshi he's not walking around wearing that like stuff i forgot what it was was his hair he did something and it was definitely cultural appropriation and then the whole like treasure map episode i don't put any weight onto that i feel like once again that is just that was a punishment and they were you know that's part of the show so i mean they could say no but just because, like, people will always say, oh, it's so hard to say no when it comes to power and hierarchy. But then when it becomes, like, about K-pop, suddenly that rule vanishes. And the fact of, peer, like, pressuring of people telling you to wear something or do something just doesn't matter anymore. Like, people think idols have such hierarchy, but the hierarchy of them being above staff comes from years of, like, experience and age. So, like, yes, BTS can say no yes black pink can say no yes but also you have to put women differently as well because women will always be below men in that world and that's why irene got that like backlash compared to like someone else um like if a, if a guy did that he probably wouldn't get much backlash from netizens anyways i'm disappointed slowly no longer being surprised and I need him to get his shit together because he's ruining it for the boys. And that really bothers me that I'm starting to care less about him and more about how it's affecting the group rather than him personally because I'm starting to lose hope in him. And then he's embarrassing me. He's embarrassing me. This is the root of the problem here. Don't do this to my boys. They're going through enough and you're becoming the problem. Anyways. Mm -hmm. oh. oh shoot that was kind of like bona bona though the instrumental sounds so familiar Kurutos raps are always my favorite, but like he went off. What the fuck? 
What do we do? Hold it back. Oh, this is. I'll be adding a split list. This chorus sounds too much like a uh, Buena Buena though. I don't think, but. I think we could have done without this ending. The one time I'm like, the song could have been shorter. Or like, just don't do this. This wasn't necessary. We don't need the YG ending every time. Oh, shoot. I want you to comment. It's because, like, I can't be only thinking from what Haruto's part was probably my favorite. Which is very rare. Um, Yoshi's rap was crazy too. Oh, Yoshi. My boy. My boy. That was crazy. That was great. That's probably one of my favorite besides, um, what was the name of the song? Mm -hmm. I'm always so bad at it. Name of it. What's it called? And uh, I'm gonna say the um Korean title because I don't know it in Japanese. Love sick. I, I prefer the Japanese version though. Um, love sick's probably still my favorite. I love beautiful love. Their Japanese songs always go hard. Anyway, that is it for this video. Sorry, Shin Six Dance. I have my morals. <laughs> now, my morals don't make me hate people unless it's like continuous or like something like supporting Israel and stuff. Like, that's where the line is so far strong. I feel like people can change. I feel like when you think of context, maybe like a, a series of events that can cause someone to stress out and just act out. Like, Young Suk has. Of course, I know it's gonna sound silly because it's just members leaving a group, but like you have to think of how long he's known those people, um, specifically, you know, and a series of events like that can really put someone in a certain headspace. The way he kind of lashed out on uh, was it Insta Live or something? Um, how he's like, that's where I can see his heart is like, he, he's like, y'all can say shit about me, but like, don't talk about the boys like that. Like, they see this and it really gets them. He looked like a little, something about that looked off, but like, you can tell he like really meant it and people were memeing it. And I'm like, I feel like there's something going on here. I'm not saying like, he's like, you know, in a depression or anything. I'm not going to go into that. Like, I'm just saying like, Something is definitely bothering him. It doesn't like make it like, oh, he's being bothered, so he's gonna culture appropriate. Like not like that, but like I don't wanna like kick someone when they're down and like I've loved him so for so long. He was my one of my first picks on the treasure box. And I don't think he's a bad person. Obviously we don't know these people. So I just kind of like hope he gets his shit together. <laughs> really. I hope he does. For the sake of the team, mainly, to be honest. Um, and I don't like to see people going through things and being hated on all the time. And it's like, I can totally understand you hating him or like, you not liking him. But like you don't have to, like, meme it and, like, make it a spiteful thing. I think that's, like, really childish and just stupid and makes you kind of look worse, to be honest. Because <laughs> even people who I don't like... Um, 
when I see like all of Twitter ganging up on them, I'm like, are we really gonna waste our breath doing that? <laughs> like really? That much? Like really? We're gonna <laughs> do that? I don't know. And then it's like when people say, oh, why does everyone hate this dude? And they don't know the context. And then people like harp on that person. I'm like, they're just asking a question, like chill out. Um, they're like, oh my god, have you not been on Twitter? <laughs> or like, whatever. Like, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Stop